Welcome Sagittarius, I'm Kyla Aditi, so great to, to have you here. This is July 25th to 31st and we're in Leo season, so fellow fire sign. So allow the heart energy, the sun, the celebration, the confidence, the performance. Ooh New beginnings. <clears throat> Ooh, abundance. Oh la la. <laughs> oh, okay. Hang on. Extra context. Oh, okay, no. Just these ones. Come on. This is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Falling in Sagittarius. Okay. So you had this beautiful new beginning. Just want to double check the threes. Sometimes I get them a bit confused. Is one because one is teamwork. Yeah, no, this is it. It's a teamwork. So you had a new beginning and the, there was teamwork involved. Aha, a new beginning, teamwork and the lovers. More context. Something wasn't transparent. Something wasn't transparent. And we're getting clear. Got two Ace of Wands. So it's like you attracted in a new love. And um, it feels with the teamwork card and the lovers card, it feels like polyamory. It feels like ethical or consensual non-monogamy. Excuse me. Um, but you get the card of the Seven of Cups, which is about, you know, things that aren't really seen. So it feels that someone wasn't honest about them being poly or, or you know, when you start dating someone, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you, well, we don't know any, everything about them, obviously do we, because they're new. Oh my God. And this card here as well, which is the, you've got to rely on yourself. You've had a past of relying a bit too heavily on, on people around you. So, but you get three, three. Mm, was there the other three? No, it wasn't. So just two, three. So creation. So what is it that you want to create to get to? Oh my God, and another three. Holy crap, I manifested that for you. What is it that you want to create to create joy? I mean, what do you need to create joy in your life? Do you want to be on the bandwagon with polyamory, with multiple partners? Are you okay with that? Um what's your idea you've got the daughter of wands there so what's your true intention what's the burning idea that is going to create an abundance of maybe love i mean maybe maybe you're stepping into polyamory <laughs> whatever it is it's moving quickly tell me more about the abundance the sagittarius the magician more action card more context about the abundance wheel of fortune wow so it really feels like through these love connections that's flow it creates flow in the sacral which is connected to finances so allow the magic allow this beautiful transformative action allow the connections the love connections and allow the, all of this abundance to top you up to we're in the month of leo right so allow all of this abundance in the wheel of fortune to two tens is another two new beginnings it's ending of cycles and new beginnings oh god yeah so allow all of this to come in because we've got in the future we've got a towel moment and we've also got the two pentacles which means there's some doubt be in alignment with what it is that you want be true to yourself don't doubt yourself otherwise the tower moment will come if you doubt yourself that's when disappointment comes in out comes the mother of swords again so we've moved out of the cancerian month which can be quite challenging month can be a lot of family stuff can be you know emotions um and so maybe you didn't feel supported as a kid again like um i think it was Lib libra no, sorry, it was Scorpio. A bit more context. You've got the stamina within you. So eliminate doubt. So therefore you won't be disappointed. Oh my God. 
you got the Wheel of Fortune and the World card. Yeah, you've really got to let this go. You've got to let it go. Um, it, yeah, come into alignment with your truth. If it is multiple partners, is it, if it is a bigger business with multiple partners, great. Um, whatever it is, allow it in if it's true for you. you. You need to come into alignment to let go of the doubts. Yeah, and the anguish, you know. When we don't, when we ignore our intuition, we, when we ignore our dreams, life doesn't flow. It gets funky, it gets, and the disappointment comes out, the anguish comes in, because we're not listening to our heart. So if we date someone and they don't make us feel good, there will always be little things or big things that happen, because our heart's going, well, what are you doing? You know, this person doesn't treat you well. They don't love you, they don't, they don't understand you, they don't see the beauty in you. You know, and so it won't feel at peace. Um, yeah, and we all deserve that. We deserve the wheel of fortune. We deserve abundance. We deserve the world. We deserve to heal and let things go that are not helping us forwards in life. And we want to move you into a beautiful state, a daughter of cups connected with creativity and flow and softness and nature by the book you get an 11 a power number by the book i'm going to read this one for you sagittarius in terms of relationship because there's been so much love in the reading getting along with others entails understanding and respecting who they have become as a result of their environment culture and experience Find the middle ground that allows the relationship to flourish while honouring the individuality of the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way you want to do them. You want them the way you want to do them. Hmm, sounds a bit weird. <laughs> Your connection will deepen as a result. Yeah, so accepting other people for their journey, accepting other people, which takes, um, you know, radical acceptance and it takes uh, vulner deep vulnerability and having conversations you know understanding where someone's come from will give you a really good idea of who they are right now and how you can grow together if you want to dive deeper um, jump down into the description reach out to my web address kylaaditi.com I do personal readings and I do personal healings and transformational coaching for your life purpose and whatever else that is going on for you um, I will be doing a new moon reading with some cards but there'll be energy healing there as well to gift to you all to align you into the new moon to seed what it is that you want in the next cycle lots of lots of hard energy going out to you Sagittarius um, you've got this just be here aligned here aligned to you and allow the abundance the magic the wheel of fortune and the world to come in well you've got three major arcanas there so it's going to be a big big week for you lots of love Kyla Aditi and I'll see you soon